Thank you so much, John, and thank you all. What a magnificent day and what a beautiful uh, tribute, both to Anne Frank, uh, to those whose lives were taken in the Holocaust, but also to the Canadian Armed Forces who liberated them. Reverend clergy, distinguished guests, members of Her Majesty's Canadian Armed Forces, uh, thank you so much for to everyone who uh, has contributed to the arrival of this beautiful day. Congratulations to the uh, South Alberta Light Horse Regiment Foundation and to the Light Horse Park for your uh, renovation, which is culminated today. And Colonel Young, I think it's brilliant that you've entered into this partnership with the Dutch community because now you're going to have the cleanest park and the best gardening anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard John detailing some of that, um, and, and I think it's a beautiful partnership. I see that you have a magnificent crest of Alberta uh, that's embedded in the heart of the renovated park, which is uh, a beautiful tribute to our province. Thank you for that, and congratulations to all who have contributed to the renovation of this park in historic part of our capital city. And thank you to uh, the uh, Dutch-Canadian club in Edmonton to the Anne Frank Memorial Statue Committee and again to the South Alberta Light Horse Regiment Foundation for uh, your collaboration to all of the donors and volunteers who have made this possible. Uh, I think this is just a perfect vision to have located the Anne Frank statue here in the Light Horse uh, Park. You know this is about memory. This the memorial uh, to the veterans and fallen of this regiment facing the statue of a girl who in many ways symbolizes the greatest crime in human history, the Shoah. And it calls to mind the words of Eli Wiesel when he received the Nobel uh, Peace Prize. He said that remembering is a noble and necessary act the call of memory, the call to memory, reaches us from the very dawn of history. No commandment figures so frequently, so insistently in the Bible. It is incumbent upon us to remember the good heat we have received and the evil that we have suffered. And the Czech novelist Milan Kundera famously wrote that the struggle of freedom against tyranny is the struggle of memory against forgetting. So in this park and with this uh, monument, the Dutch Canadian community is teaching us all about the importance of memory, of struggling against tyranny through, through remembering, as Wiesel said, both the good that we have received and the evil that we have suffered. Anne Frank herself, of course, famously wrote that where there's hope, there's life. It fills us with fresh courage and makes us strong again. And uh, all of this comes together in the historical threads that weave Canada and the Netherlands together. As John mentioned, uh, the, the Franks were taken prisoner by the Gestapo in August of 1944. And just one month later, the first Canadian army entered the Netherlands to begin its liberation. How tragic that they could not be there just weeks earlier. And yet, those men, including members of the South Alberta Light Horse Regiment, fought uh, to free families, to protect families like the Franks. And so they are joined together in memory, just as uh, the Dutch people honor the graves of Canadian troops who never came home, who, re who remained behind in the graves in, in the Netherlands, so too we join with the people of Holland and the Jewish people in remembering the Shoah. So thank you for this beautiful gift. Thank you for this gift of memory, and may it be here to inspire generations to come uh, to understand that while evil exists, uh, hope can overcome. Thank you.